Now then my friends, very quick video for you today because if you've been watching the channel, you will know that I am heading off on an aeroplane to San Francisco, Los Angeles, maybe somewhere else in between, and then over to New York City, where I'm going to spend a few days there with a good friends of well, with good friends of mine. Um, hopefully, the Silver Fox. Maybe not. He's going to Las Vegas. He has actually uh, asked me to go and see him now, um, but I don't know whether I get a chance to do that. And I've done Las Vegas a few other week, a few weeks ago. I know I also did New York as well, but it's on the way back to the UK. So lots of content coming your way, travel content. But today we are really larging it up and living it up big style because I'm taking you to Weatherspoons with me. Now I did Weatherspoons the other day. I did a breakfast there. It was okay. Uh, and I actually got roasted by a few people saying, what do you want? There's nothing wrong with Weatherspoons. I never said there was. I just said it wasn't brilliant. I said it was okay. It is what it is. What do you want me to say? It's amazing Michelin star food. It is what it is. But today we're going to head for a steak and we're going to see what the steak there is like and how many chips we get with it. Has the chip count gone down? Could it be scandalous? Who knows? Anyway, we're going to head there. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Lots of great content coming your way from over in the United States and further afield in the coming months. So I hope you hit the subscribe button. It is free. Don't do it till the end. You might not like the content, but if you do, give us a thumbs up. And also don't forget, hit the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. And by the way, if you've already subscribed and you've already been watching me for the last few months, years, weeks, days, Thank you very much for your support. It really does mean a lot. Thank you from the heart. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Now, today we are going to Weatherspoons in the White Rose Shopping Center in Leeds. Now, I've not been to this one before. Hang on a minute, this is where we need to go. Uh, and apparently it looks quite nice. I mean, they're all very nice. I know he's got rid of a load of them, uh, but this one is supposed to be nice and light, very clean. And I'm hoping they've got the steak there as well. I'm looking forward to this because I do like a steak. The question is, is it going to be like the sole of a shoe or is it actually going to be nice and edible and, uh, and tasty? Who knows? We shall find out. We'll mark it out of 10. You guys can mark it out of 10 as well on looks and on price. Now, we know it's not going to be overly expensive, which is good in this day and age. And I do believe they do a deal with a drink as well. I'm going to have a soft drink today because I'm driving, but I believe you can also have a pint as well. I actually think Weatherspoons is all right. A lot of people talk down about it. They don't like the guy who owns it because of what happened in lockdown. Allegedly, by the way, that didn't happen. Apparently he got rid of a load of staff, but if you read up on it, it wasn't as bad as the press made out because we all know the press and the media, they lie. That's what they do. They lie, don't they? The Sun, the Mirror, the Daily Mail, Allegedly, anyway, got to cover myself. I don't want to be inside it next next day. Right, anyway, let's get there and let's get this ordered. No puddings today either. We're, not, we're just going in for the deal, the meal deal. I don't know about you, but it always takes me ages to, to find a parking space that I like. I'm really, really picky. I don't want to park next to somebody. Go on, Tesla. I don't want to park next to somebody who's basically going to open the door into me. And that's what happens at shopping centers and like uh, supermarkets, isn't it? You come back and you've got a ding in your car because people have just shoved a trolley up against it or whatever. And I don't want that because I don't want to be paying, especially as I've just paid for my warranty, for um, ironing out dints or dents. My dad used to do this. I used to, I used to have a go at him. Just park, will you, dad, and let's get in there. And he'd, he'd take ages finding a parking space. Now I could be, I could be a little misogynistic here, but I'm not going to be because I've got 
three daughters, nearly said four, three daughters, I might have, who knows, that no I haven't, three daughters and one son, and I was going to say, I don't know whether to say it these days, you didn't say anything, and I, I, I was going to say that women are probably the, the biggest culprits in dinging cars and opening car doors, I may be wrong, don't have a go at me, I'm just saying, am I wrong? Am I right? I could be wrong, I could be right. Um, but there we go. Uh, I, ladies, I, I, I love you all, really. Here we go, I like this parking space, there we go. Yes, that's good. Right next to children's park in there, uh, where you, if you've got a child, which I haven't, although I've got a child seat in the back. Please don't have a go at me. Don't, don't roast me for that, that comment. Please, let's get to Weatherspoons. Lee, don't di stop digging, Lee. Come on. Right, I'm happy with that space. That's all right. Unless somebody parks there and then trying to get the child out, the car seat, and then dings the car door. But don't think so. Fingers crossed. Now, I was going to go to Weatherspoons in uh, Meadow Hall, but I don't like Meadow Hall. It's an absolute nightmare. It really is. Do you like Meadow Hall? Have you ever been in Sheffield? Nah, I get lost. I get disorientated. Right now, I don't actually know where this Weatherspoons is, but I'm hoping it's up here because I've looked online, I've done my research and it's outside somewhere. Right, going back down again because it's not up there. I don't know where it is. I will, well, I've gone to the loo anyway because I know that the Weatherspoons toilets will be about three miles outside of Weatherspoons. Oh, right, there are food outlets up here. German Donner Kebab. Uh, and Costa Coffee and wing stop, so I'm hoping it's going to be around here. Right, here we are, Weatherspoon, the scribbling mill. You can have fish and chips here, choose from over 150 drinks, that's includes the drinks, alcoholic drink, £14.36, fish, chips, peas or mushy peas for £14.36, an alcoholic drink, or £12.83 with a soft drink. That's a bargain, but no fish and chips today. I want a steak, come on. Right, now, this is a massive uh, disappointment because uh, I've come for a steak and um, they don't do a steak at uh, this Weatherspoons. They're on a limited menu. Uh, some, some restaurants, some Weatherspoons work on a limited menu, like it's in a shopping centre here. Uh, also, if I remember rightly as well, there's a couple in Blackpool that don't do steaks. I have checked now to see whether they do steaks at the Mansfield Weatherspoons, which is where I'm heading now, but I'm hungry, so it is a bit of a disappointment because I want to eat now, but I wanted to do the steak, so I'm going to head to Mansfield, head back to the car, head to Mansfield, and get to the Weatherspoons. Hi, all right, darling? Uh, I'm going to head back to uh, Mansfield, and uh, I'm going to say hello to the lady there that's just so, said hello to me. Um, I'm going to head back there and have a steak there, so let's get back to the car. I am massively disappointed in that. I am hungry. 
it's now 20 past two and I need to eat. I could eat a pit pony, as my dad used to say. I'm here at Duxford and I'm bloody starving. I can eat a pit pony and I'm hungry. Where's my car? I can't even remember where I've looked. Where's my car? Ha, there it is. Nice and safe. Right, let's head to Mansfield. I'm not going to take you uh, in the car with me and pad out the video because it's longer to edit then as well. And I need to get uh, all ready and get packed to get on a plane very soon. Although there will be a couple more videos before I get on that plane. So I shall see you back in Mansfield at Spoons. Ha! By the power of television. Actually, not the power of television because television doesn't have any power anymore. That's rubbish. It's done. That's history. By the power of Grayskull. No, that's He-Man. By the power of YouTube, I'm in Mansfield and we're going to go to Weatherspoons. It doesn't take much power to get you to Mansfield, I have to say. And I can slate Mansfield because I'm from here, so don't have a go at me. Like people did when I was in Liverpool and all I said was about nicking my camera. Crikey, some people are a bit touchy in Liverpool, aren't they? Well, I can say what I want, I'm in Mansfield. Right, anyway, let's get to Spoons. Let's mark this steak out of ten. Don't know what it's going to be. We're going to reserve judgment. I need to pay for the car, get to Spoons, and then we can wind this video up. Do I have a dessert? Do I have a starters? Nah. It's a shame I've got the car. I should have dropped it off and then I could have gone and had a beer. Anyway, onwards. Right, here we are, stag and pheasant on my own turf. Let's get in there and hope that the uh, steak isn't like turf. Come on. Right, okay, so I've ordered uh, and I have gone for, get this, uh, I've gone for the uh, gourmet. Uh, eight ounce sirloin steak rather than the classic eight ounce. Now the difference there uh, is uh, you can have with the gourmet you get peas, tomato, uh, mushroom, three onion rings uh, and steak sauce and I've gone for the peppercorn sauce. I've gone for chips as well and I've gone for a large pint of Diet Coke which you're resting upon there because I've just got my phone with me today. Uh, so I've gone for that and um, that together with a soft drink is 13 59. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. I've gone for medium as well. Ask for it to be done medium. I've got uh, a mayonnaise there as well because I'm a bit saucy. Uh, I've gone for ketchup as well. Uh, I've got the uh, sarsens and I've also gone for English mustard uh, which is Heinz. Um, should be Coleman's really shouldn't it? It's mustard but there we go and also a little bit of tartar sauce uh, and some uh, pepper and some salt. So while I'm waiting you take a closer look at the menu, my friends, and tell me what you'd have. Friends, so the goods have arrived. It was 13.79, by the way, uh, in the end, because I did upgrade to a pint of Coke. Uh, I've got the peppercorn sauce there as well. I've uh, got the tomato. Uh, I'm going to show you the, um, I'm going to do a little bit of a flyover with some shots. Count the chips while you do that as well. Uh, we'll do a chip count. I've got three onion rings on the top there as well, and got steak underneath. So before we go any further, my friends, take a closer look.
Right, okay, I think we need to cut into the steak. There you go. There's, this is medium. So you can see under there, the steak. Grilled on top there. Now we'll cut into it. This is medium, so let's have a look. Here we go. Is it medium? That's the thing. Let's have a look. What do you think to that? A little bit tough. Let's get some peppercorn sauce on it. Um, pour some peppercorn sauce onto it. A little bit congealed there on top. Mm. The staff, by the way, are excellent. Very, very good here, but they always have been. Um, I don't know them, by the way, but they are very, very good staff. Right, let's get some vinegar on there. Sarsons. And let's try this with a little bit of peppercorn sauce. A little bit of gristle on the side there, a bit of fat. Peppercorn sauce is all right. Does the job. Uh, go for an onion ring here. Cut into that, which are obviously frozen, I guess, aren't they? But... Mm. We shall try a chip. I know they're frozen chips, but fried perfect, not too anemic, and very fluffy on the inner. So I'm happy with that. But the steak, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm going to reserve judgment. It does need the peppercorn sauce, though. Getting very rowdy in here, actually, but there we go. Talking about rash cream for his rash. I'll see you guys in a minute. Mm. There you go. Spoons. <laughs> staff told him to stop whistling. Good. Told you the staff were good. Right, I'll see you guys in a minute. Mansfield. I mean, Mansfield, what more do you expect? <laughs> see you in a minute. Right, let's get down to business, shall we? So, first of all, service in there. Impeccable, impeccable service. Uh, the last time I went in though, it, it was superb service. Um, they were clearing tables, uh, they were serving really quickly. It was absolutely spot on for service. So 11 out of 10 for service in there, brilliant. And um, extra marks as well for telling that guy to stop whistling because that guy, uh, unbelievable i have never sat next to anybody who has used the f word so many times it must have been over a hundred times and i'm not exaggerating while i'm eating my dinner uh, and he was with two women uh, one of which i believe was his daughter by the sound of it uh, in fact it was his daughter because then she started using the f word as well back to him um so i mean I've never heard such foul language. And don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not a prude, I'm not a snob. I am from Mansfield, but I just think, this, I, mean, I use the F word, but not that many times. It was unbelievable. Um, and then I was listening to the conversation, which was comical. I got parts of it where apparently his girlfriend has been 
having an affair or something. This is what I got from it anyway, and uh, and he puts up with it or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, other than the language, um, it was uh, it wasn't a bad meal. And by the way, they use British, one hundred percent British and Irish beef. Um, so there you go. That is good supporting British and Irish farmers. So that's a good thing. Um, price wise, it was excellent. Um, and the steak was it the best steak of course it wasn't the best steak was it the worst steak no it wasn't um it filled me up price wise it was good um so all in all um including the price which it, well, i said what the price was exactly earlier on anyway so i've already gone through the price price wise excellent um i'm going to give it a, an all round including service we'll put the guy aside because that might not happen in other places. Typical Mansfield, that, isn't it? Um, but there we go. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I'm in a pub. It is the afternoon, though, and there were children in there as well. But having to listen to that was unacceptable. Am I being a little bit... Am I being wrong there? Let me know in the comments section. Am I being a bit of a prude? Maybe I'm being a bit of a prude, but that many F words? Mm, especially when there's children about. Anyway, um, but it is a pub. Then you might say, well, don't bring children into a pub. So could have conflicting um, conversations there, conflicting opinions is what I'm uh, saying. Anyway, I'm blabbering on, I'm going to wind it up, I'm going to go with an all round 7.4 uh, uh, for the food. Um, it was it was rather okay, there we go, it was okay, what do you expect? Service though, a 10 out of 10, it was brilliant, 11 out of 10. There we go, that's Spoon's Steak, where the Spoon's Steak, uh, and uh, it was foul mouthed. There we go. That's all from me today. Thanks very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't come to Mansfield. See ya. <laughs>